So when it comes to the NFC South, I want to talk about a guy that played in that division for a long time, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, longtime Falcons quarterback, one of the greatest players in the history of the Falcons franchise. When you think of greatest Atlanta Falcons of all time, you think of Michael Vick, Julio Jones, Deion Sanders. Matt Ryan is in the conversation for greatest Falcons player of all time based on what he did. A lot of people believe, oh, Matt Ryan, Hall of Fame level player. I disagree, folks. The reality is this. I'm here to tell the truth. Matt Ryan is the most overrated quarterback of all time, in my opinion. And it's not even up for debate. Matt Ryan is not a Hall of Famer. Compared to his temporaries at the quarterback position, I'm not even sure Matt Ryan is a top 10 quarterback of his era. Let's go through, let's go through the names. Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Ben Rollinsberger, Russell Wilson, Cam Newton, Phillip Rivers, Matthew Stafford, and Eli Manning are all better quarterbacks at their best than Matt Ryan. And I haven't even talked about the likes of Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, two guys that are physical specimens and two of the most talented quarterbacks to ever live. I listed off over 10 guys right there for you. Matt Ryan is not a top 10 quarterback of his era. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, you know, how can you say Matt Ryan is worse than Cam Newton and Phillip Rivers and Matthew Stafford? Let's talk about those guys because those guys will probably be the most debated. Cam Newton at his best was a better quarterback than Matt Ryan. He may have not had as long of a prime as Matt Ryan, but to me, at Cam Newton's peak, he led a 15-1 Panthers team. He's arguably in the conversation for greatest rushing quarterback of all time. He had a much more talented arm. He carried much lesser pieces than Matt Ryan. Cam Newton is better. Phillip Rivers went to eight Pro Bowls at one point. Matt Ryan's only been to four. Phillip Rivers is a better quarterback. I've seen it with my own two, two eyes, people. Matthew Stafford, much more talented arm than Matt Ryan, and he won a Super Bowl. That's the difference, people, right there. When it comes to the Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame is reserved for the most talented players ever and the most accomplished players ever in the NFL. Matt Ryan in 15 seasons, where we have? Obviously a very solid body of work and very good statistics, but we also have nine years in which he missed the playoffs. Only four Pro Bowl appearances. Only one All-Pro selection. We can highlight that MVP season that he had, but to me, that year Aaron Rodgers should have won the NFL MVP. Aaron Rodgers led the NFL in touchdown passes that year. Not Matt Ryan. And Aaron Rodgers had to carry the 32nd ranked defense in the entire NFL. And he won 10 games with that unit and led the NFL in touchdown passes. Matt Ryan only won 11 games during the regular season. So was the win-loss record really that much in Matt Ryan's favor to where we had to give him an MVP of Aaron Rod over Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers was robbed of MVP in favor of Matt Ryan. And Matt Ryan, there's no, there's no other way around it. He holds the biggest choke job in Super Bowl history. That came at his, at his feet. A 28 to three lead was blown on Matt Ryan's watch when he was the quarterback. He had a terrible fumble in the second half that led to an easy, easy Patriots touchdown. He was not moving the ball in the second half of that game. He holds responsibility for this. Sure, the defense holds some responsibility. Sure, the coaching staff holds some responsibility. But guess what, people? If anyone not named Matt Ryan probably would have blown that lead, they would be getting crushed. If Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, or Tom Brady blew a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl, you know and I know the media would crush them. But because it's Matt Ryan, it's okay. He gets a participation trophy. He gets to be clapped at, okay? And that just goes to show you right there. I got y'all. That's the difference. The difference is Brady, Rodgers, and Mahomes, these Hall of Fame level quarterbacks, they're held to a higher standard than Matt Ryan. A la why Matt Ryan is overrated and not a Hall of Famer. Because when you say someone's overrated, that means you're over-exaggerating their greatness in a sense. Matt Ryan is not a Hall of Fame player. He wasn't a top 10 quarterback of his era. OK, he just wasn't. And a lot of people believe he was. And it's not it's flatly not true. 
You mean to tell me someone is a Hall of Fame level player that owns the biggest choke job in NFL postseason history, has a below 500 playoff record, missed the playoffs nine times in 15 years altogether, only made four Pro Bowls in 15 years, only had one All-Pro selection. And again, we already talked about his overrated MVP season, probably the most overrated MVP award ever given out, It's at least in that conversation. Aaron Rodgers should have won that MVP. And not even arguably a top 10 quarterback of his era, at least from a towel perspective, not even close. How so many times in the playoffs, we have seen Matt Ryan, who a lot of people call Matty Ice, turn into Matt Ryan melts like ice when it matters most in the playoffs, blowing a 17 point lead to Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers, scoring zero points on offense versus the New York Giants. Not very good. Couldn't close the deal versus Nick Foles and the Philadelphia Eagles when he had a chance to win the game in the red zone. Got his brains blown out by Aaron Rodgers-led Packers team when he was the favorite at home, and that was a young Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers hadn't quite even hit his prime yet. So to me, I got to say, when I consider the most overrated quarterbacks of all time, I got to say Matt Ryan's atop that list for all the reasons that I mentioned. Matt Ryan has been overrated by so many people. He's not a great playoff performer. I don't care about the statistics because statistics are misleading. If we want to just go off of stats, then let's just put Kirk Cousins and Dak Prescott in the Hall of Fame. They're not even close to the Hall of Fame. You know it and I know it. And Matt Ryan, he had a very good career. And if he would have won that Super Bowl, then I would consider potentially putting him in the Hall of Fame. But the thing is, that's the difference, people. We can't just give out participation trophies. I'm not going to do it. With, I'm not going to do it with Matt Ryan. He's by far and away the most overrated quarterback of all time and one of the most overrated players in NFL history.